Oh, that's shocking, that isn't it? Absolutely shocking. Right. Um, that's off to auction. Um, with some bits and bobs inside. After the fun we had loading it all last night. I don't think this trailer's moved properly for <laughs> probably 12 months or more. So we dragged it around the yard a little bit last night to make sure the lights are on, tyres are up, and away we go again. Look at that. I so need to get this truck sorted, it's just horrific. So my plan is, if I can get back early enough, we can get this sorted. It depends what gets thrown in the mix today now, doesn't it? Mm. And then... Uh, we loaded that one last night, ready to go. So, should be a nice little easy day. Should be. Should be a nice little easy day. Sam. For a one a second. Bo, 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 bo. Somebody said to me there. Well, somebody said to me the other day. Well, the other day, quite a while back. Our yard was a mess. Yes, it is a mess, but but it's now coming together. Was the um, where's the the wash plant start turning up? So yard is no longer a mess. It's just a bit scruffy. <laughs> Don't break hard, you'll be fine. It can't go anywhere anyway, there's stuff up the front. Hi right, Dennis, uh, let's nip this up to um I can't think of the name of the place. Over there. I do like that daff. All in black. Tag axle. Boom. She's lovely. Mm. Throw the V8 behind the mine, look, you know. Can't have everything now, can we? Mm hmm. Oh, let's put you there for a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Um, I just said to the, said to the girl, oh, do you have a toilet? I just, um, I do like that. That's nice, that is all colour coded. But the old 580 there, I prefer better. All colour coded. Hmm. Um.
Yeah, so um, she said, to us, oh, do, do you have a facility I can use? Yes, no problem, she says. Follow the path and up there. I walked that long. I was uh, half expecting to uh, get beaten up by a herd of wild, um, what do they call them? Uh, a, a wild bunch of bush people was that far away. By the time I got up here, I forgot what I was doing anyway. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just walked through the middle of there. And I love it, I do, because I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Because um, you see some really peculiar old old machines, which stuff you don't normally see on a day-to-day -day basis. I wish I took my phone with me, because i just seen a cool little machine, which I would have took a picture of, but never mind. That is life. So we're just waiting by here now patiently for us to go in and get unloaded. Because <sighs> we've got some bits in the back. And, um, oh, hang on. Answers on a postcard. Where do they come from? Because I think they would make sweet expedition vehicles as well. I'm pretty sure they're all uh, six-wheel drive. But I was just looking in the back of them. There's loads of room in the back. And I think that might be better than the old... Uh, um, the old Land Rovers. Because they're a bit lower down, not as top-heavy. But yeah, there's piles of uh, MOD stuff, yeah? And I love it. Sit there all day wandering round. Oh, there's one there now. Uh -huh. See, go, 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 go! Cross country test. They're really cool. <laughs> new, uh, my new van were there for the old, uh, for the Sunday papers. Got to earn a living, people. Got to earn a living. Right, that's the stuff out the back. Gone. Just got to photograph a trailer and drop it off. So, I was hoping to see that little machine, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it now. It's just, i got to go down the middle. Oh, ball snap. There's a grading machine over there. I didn't realise how big they are. Ba, ba, ba. There's a big old piece of kit that is fair play for the grader. Right, down the middle of the car park. I don't know if you can see it. Over to the left there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah, oh, there's that little machine I was on about. Dee -dee. Mm -hmm. Dee -dee. See, where you two are there. Look how cool that is. That's where I, I think it digs at the back and then you fill it in on the other side like. Mad little machines, I love them. Never seen one like that before. Not a little one anyway, you've seen big ones like it, but not a little one. Right, let's see if we can get this um, down by here. Wow, cool forklift. Oh, my boss would love that. A little Ford. I got a win, you come by ours too. Whoop. Oh, that's the photos. So she can go online. God, that's seen better days. Parking up right by you. And, uh, job's a good one. shouldn't say this but Euro auctions is slightly better because you can see some really strange stuff up there some mad mad machines Sad times, sad times. Oh, you know, I could give some speech about, you know, it being a excellent uh, piece of kit. Um, but 
Bye bye. I would be lying. So long, sucker! <laughs> oh, I really need to grow up, don't I? Right, quick bobtail back to the yard and uh, grab the next trailer and away. That's if you are more gone Pete Tong. I'm not gonna lie, I've just come out of there now. Obviously I'm bobtailing. With a mid lift, it's not a problem. You bounce around a little bit. Um, I, I've forgotten how bad it is to bobtail with a tag axle because there's twice now I've nearly gone through the window. Honest to Jesus, Mother of Mary. At some point, I'm waiting to go out to have, um, I've driven past Pontron, Pontrail, that's right. Um, yeah, I, I nearly went out the window, I don't know how many times. Just like, do do do, whoa! This is a bit of a dip in the road. It's not something you can just, like, put your foot down in and go. You kind of got to, like, brace yourself, you know. Two hands on the steering wheel. Gum shield. A neck restraint. Possible helmet, and then you just sit like that. <laughs> oh God, I tell you what. Yeah, so what I would normally be like cruising down here at 50 with a trailer on, you know, chilled out. Not today. We're bobtailing and kind of like wrestling with our lives if we're going to make it. I've got a car in front of me, will not do the speed limit at all. Absolutely will not do it. Be 60 down through here, and you can comfortably, comfortably sit at 60 without any problem at all. And now we're down to 35. I'm just coming under the low bridge by Pontrialis Merchants. Well done, Doris. I was hoping to be finished early today. I don't think that's going to happen now. Oh well. Friday, bank holiday, beer time! I'm definitely going to have a few beers tonight because I've been a good boy the last couple of weeks. Because we're watching the figure now. <laughs> Bridge, duck, quack. We've had a massive rainstorm back here. The roads are a little bit wet. Mm -hmm. Steady and early. Well, we've bounced our way back anyway. Oh. It's getting a bit full in the yard. I um, loaded my um, trailer up last night. I'm not going to lie to you. I dropped it off and did have a bit of a moment of thinking, shit, is that going to last over tit? And guess what? It didn't. But where's the other buckets? Hmm. Right. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's pick this up and uh, go on our merry little way. <laughs> the next one. Oh, that was fun loading them on last night as well. <sighs> I'm hoping. But when I get to where this one's going, just whip them three off and she'll track straight over the top of them. There's wishful thinking, isn't it? Um, and I better move the bucket in, hadn't I? Oh, a bit of yellow tape or something, I'll be fine. Yeah, I haven't stopped the arms yet because we had to, well, had to re -jug it. Re jiggle the buckets because we were missing buckets, so. Best to put a strap over the arm and like, before everyone goes mad. <sighs> God. Oh. 
everything was going so nicely until it just absolutely poured down with rain and somebody decided to wipe their car out. I think I'll be stuck in this about 20 minutes now. Yay! Had a couple of wombles got the inside lane, but that's about it. We haven't had no Ninos yet. Bit annoyed as well because I could have come off at the junction before this and I would have gone just gone in slightly different. Oh, uh, brilliant. I'm seeing cars filled to the brim with camping stuff on God knows what as well, so that ain't helping today. Uh, literally, I've only got to go literally just over the hill. And I can come off then. I don't stick the kettle on though. But to be fair, it did just absolutely belt it down the ring like you wouldn't believe. I cannot demist my windows in this truck. On the bright side, it stopped raining. Well, sort of, anyway. Oh, there's a curb there, Russ. As my trailer just found out. Whoops, it easy. Uh, I'm not sure where this place actually is, so there's a good chance I'm going to have to phone the boys on site. Because why would you want to be given an address? A postcode apparently is more than suffice. Hmm. I beg to differ on that one. Uh, every cloud, silver lining. Yeah, it was a card aqua plate across the motorway. somewhere or the village anyway This little bit of area by you. Don't really want to be here too long either because I want to get down to Barry. The boys finish early on a Friday, most of them. And the last thing they want is me rocking up at four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Oh, hell no! That will not go down very well with some of them. It's alright anyway, as somebody said, I have no friends. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I wish I could explain that one. <laughs> Best I don't. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm... Oh, hang on. That looks promising, but there then. That did look promising. Right, it's, um, it's, let's, let's make a phone call, is it? I think that's what I want, is up there. Well, apparently, it's up by you. I'm not liking the, the, the feel of this one. Where is it to? You watch, I'm all the way at the top of there somewhere. I did just ask him, is there enough room for the Arctic? Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor. Oh. Wonderful. Let's find out then, is it? Ah, there she is. Look, up here, man. Ah, plenty of room, plenty of room. Oh, that was nice and easy, look. Right, this, um... Oh, God's sake, how am I supposed to... Oh, right, let's try and work this out, is it? Hmm. 
Oh, well, that wasn't uh, too painful as I was expecting. Uh, I was hoping to reverse around that corner just by there, but I can't. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Uh, the curb on your right hand side just wasn't happening. Yeah, if I um, if I put the are uh, they in all my marks? I'd like to point out that's somebody else. But if I put a unit over there or the trailer, they, they would just been murdered over there. So, yay! So we turned in that street with there, and we had some really horrible looks off residents. Uh, I've had it before many times. You. You've wrecked the grass. I haven't been on the grass. You have. I just watched you. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> oh. That's the second time I've been tested for that. My temperature tested for the old uh, COVID-19 in the last, well, since March. Sorry, third time, third time. So it's good to see everyone's on top of it. All mind the Very nice up front, but yeah. Really nice. Yeah, it's, it's, as soon as uh, I turn up into a street, that's it. Everyone's got to, you know, put stuff in their bins and, you know, cut the grass and. Uh. Oh, no trees. Uh, so I hope they all come, just in case, you know, just in case I might actually hit something. These trees can give me a bit of concern because they're so low. If you ever turn into a street and you think the lorry's going to hit the top of the trees or anything like that, stop. It's normally a good sign that you really shouldn't be there. So Russ's hot tip. Low trees hitting the car is a good sign you shouldn't be there. Right, let's get down to Barry.
Back to the good old fashion of uh, cooing like hell everywhere now. Brilliant. Love it. Ah. Back to being pond life on the roads. Oh, nice and easy, wasn't it? In, straight out. Tip reloaded, 30 minutes. Whoosh. The way I like it on a Friday because the boys want to go home. <laughs> uh, I love how you turned up to the site on a, um, on a Friday. Boys, rush, rush, rush. Yeah, yeah, gotta go home, gotta go home. Uh, I still gotta go back to the yard. I still gotta unload. I don't know, sorry. Um, yeah, it's still got to unload, so yeah, it's another easy, another hour plus before I get home, like, or before I leave the yard, anyway, at least. Yeah, so uh, they, they giddy up on a Friday, the boys are going to be fair. You know, they're a bit like bish bish. Traffic is solid everywhere. Uh, well, I just don't know which way to go either. Should we nip through? I don't think it's making any difference which way I go, to be honest with you. Um, let's turn right, go down through Panath. Yeah, we'll go through Panath. They can go one of two ways. Yeah, so, um, ooh, wow, that was close. Right, so, in out. Nice, tidy site as well. Plenty of room, to except for the fact none of you have seen the car just slightly up. Oh, yeah, you did. The green car on the right hand side, you should have seen it. Yeah, that, that just caused me grief, that did. Of all the places you can park, and they park it right on the opposite, opposite the fence, the gate, the thingy me fog me. Thingy me jiggy me. That one. Words. <sighs> right, so, we're gonna go back, tip this off a bit quick. No idea what I'm doing Tuesday. Um, cause it's back all day, yay. Uh, work last weekend, so can't do nothing this weekend. The Saturday shifts are becoming a bit regular. Oh, you know, as um, talking to somebody who works for a company around by us, and um, they were saying they've got to work every other Saturday, and that's what they contracted to. And then, like the second week again, then they got to work the Sunday. And finish on the Friday, yeah. It's, it's Annie's tip of work as well, mind. So yeah, I don't um, I don't really get that. It's a bit naughty, I think that is. Contract to work like that. No real need for that. Well, I don't think there is anyway. Because <clears throat> you work then. You know, at the end of the day, you should be able to work in a company and have all your weekends off, shouldn't you? Really, let's be fair. And the Saturday should be your optional, you know, your, 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 your rainy day money, you know, your uh, Costa del Barry Bados money. Uh, so, quite lucky here, we don't do a lot of um, weekend work, but there is plenty of work if you wanted to, like if you're a bit of a dab hand on uh, other stuff. That's me knackered because I'm pretty, like, you know, I drive the bus. Yeah, a drive deeper. I think I could have got to that point where I'm spending too much time on my own. I'm sweating buckets. I smell like a sock, which has been trotted through the Belize jungle for the last six months. Oh. Going home for the bath. That'd be a bad little day of it. Bad little day. Um, this weekend, fingers crossed. Oh balls! I didn't work at all, Russ. Ah, uh, we just come to stand still again. Um, hopefully now this weekend, I should have time to catch up and do well. Catch up on everything. That's my plan. That is my plan. I'm sure she got some wild idea of doing something. What it is, I don't know. But uh, be like Monday, sit down, go through everything, and we'll have a bish bash bosh. A boshy and a bish. Anyway, let's get back to the yard because I'm waffling crap.
But apparently people like like me waffling crap. Don't know why. You know what I like about my job? It's Friday, bank all day five o'clock ish, give or take ten past five. Mm. Everyone's gone home except me. You know what I mean? It's just not acceptable, is it? First in, last home. I um think I need to have a word with someone. Like maybe the management. No breeze, no wind, there's nothing's perfectly still. Hoping that's his telly. Yeah, it um, would have been nice to be home early today. Not happening, was it? That's life. <laughs> It's nice and quiet and nobody can bother me. I'm gonna drop this off. And then pick up my little half price tipper. Because that's what we're on on Monday. No, Tuesday. I, um, I think that one job's coming to an end soon, so that's something different to do for a change instead of up and down from bloody Cardiff all the time. Because <laughs> it is driving me mad. Four lords every day, up and down, up and down. Oh, balls. Who put a puddle by there? Soon be home time and I can't wait. You just had one of them weeks and you think I've had enough now.
<laughs> well, that's us done. And uh, homeward bound. Uh, if you want to know why I lifted it up, I saw that. I don't need to turn you around. Um, any water that sits in the back will run out. Ready for Monday morning. Can't put the sheet over. Because when the sheet collects water, it gets too heavy and it just pulls it all down. It's alright if there's a load in there, but no load in there means the uh, sheet sags too much. Right, I'm going home. Have a nice weekend all. See you when I see you.